Hey guys, it's Chad Girl and it's a, and happy 4th of July. Today we're going to be making a 4th of July cake and when you cut it in soft, it will be a flag. So what you'll need is a circular thing to trace, um, a, a knife, and three carrots. You'll need two red and one blue. Um, and this, these two are optional. We have this little cake platter and we have this spinny thing to make it easy. So we're going to take the knife and we're going to cut this into two parts. So and now we cut it, so now we're going to frost it. So we're going to take this frosting and put a dollop like right there and spread it out. And now we frost the cake. We frost right here on the top and we will put our blue cake on there and now we're going to take this little black we're going to put this in the center push it down and it makes that little circle for us so now we're going to take the knife put it down go like this now we place everything on top take it down here and now we're going to do um, a little bit different with this cake we're going to do the same thing push it down Cut it out, but this cake on that. Um, now we're gonna cut this center out. Okay, so now instead of this, we take this. We need the center, so you cut little chunks like that to fry it out. I bet I can do this. Okay. And now we have the little cake. And now I forgot. I sort of forgot you need to cut this in two pieces. Can I fish frosting? Okay, so now since this we put the first one on, now we're just gonna frost it to make it nicer. Then we're gonna put the second layer on. Now we are going to frost this with a crumb coat. So this is what it looks like once it's all done. It looks kind of weird. You're saying, how can that look like the American flag? Just wait. So we're going to take a dollop in the center. And now we're going to start frosting. And we're back to frosted it. Frosted it again. We made the dye the frosting. And yeah. So now we're going to start with the design. So we're going to push this into the corner. You can use tits if you want, but we're not using them today. So I can't get a perfect start there, but what you're going to do is that you're going to start from the bottom and go down, down, You're on. Down. So now we've done that, and now we're going to make second part of it and see those lines. You need to be thick but they're really good. That's the best you can get unless you need to. So now we're going to make these little dots on this. So what you're going to do is you start from where you, you go up that. And you just alternate colors. So what you're doing is like you start from the cake and you squeeze and pull up to make that little tip. And you can push it back to make the little dot. So now we, this is done with the dots and stuff. This is what it looks like. I really like it. The dots aren't as perfect, but I, I still like it. So now we're going to take our black frosting and make that little hole for the, for the flag. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up down. down. Okay, so now we got the, if, if you want to stop from here, you can basically be done. But, you know the stars on there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, some sprinkled pearls right here that we found. And you're going to take one by one and put a couple in there for the stars in there.
You can put like whatever you want in here. You can put like candy stuff. You can put candy stars, or you can put like anything that you would like for the stars. And I hope you enjoy this cake. And now we have your own little American cake of Fourth of July. And we're gonna cut in and show you what it looks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. This is what it looks like, and this is what the slice looks like. It looks just like the American flag. So if you like this video, leave a subscribe or leave a like. Bye.